Bunker. Cowabunga. This guy's here. I don't know if that's my teammate that's making the noise. Shield bubble, should we get that?
This shit's fucking OP. What? This is stupid. That guy needs to die, bro. So, 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 can someone kill Ninja? Shit I'm doing is actually kind of hard, bro. Trying to kill everyone, like trying to win without getting a kill. It's kind of hard, man. That is actually a mad time. I'm too powerful, bro. <laughs> Dude. It's so annoying, man. That's actually so annoying. This guy has the ODM gear, but he's gonna use it all. It's got no juice. It's got no. Ah, it's good now. Shit. <laughs> five kills. No, I wasn't meant to get five kills though. <sighs> Thank you. Alright, that's it. That's the last one.
That is the last one, ladies and gentlemen. That is the last one. Oh, okay, so I've still got this one. I haven't fully finished it yet. So I'll, I'll go basically do that ten more times, four more times. Let's finish it more of this one. Let's finish the skin. Kill it, bro. What the fuck? So I'll find the three pedestals. Too much though, man. They need to. They need to relax with this shit. So it's like, where are the other two now? It's not a kids game, bro. It's not too too big of a brain to play this. Really 
Fine, it's not even interesting, it's just boring. Like, why does that, why does a little treasure chest have to be that complicated? It's really sort of thing, so. Yeah, it's just like, why do I have to keep pulling up YouTube? My father had cruelly left the tears and Rodite cry for her lost love in the very place the goddess was locked away from her. That poor go go boy, boo hoo, please! I was just down in the underworld with Hades for the near month and let me tell you, my slave! So that's why you were during the time for attack. I had to sample the new Latvian wine vintage. You know how it is. I kept on getting to leave. It's another puzzle again, man. There's too many puzzles. They're being too much, they're being way too much. That's too much, man. That's way too fucking much. And I have to what, go through the door? Oh, that's too much. That's just stupid. That shit is fucking stupid, man. That's what I'm saying, bro. Just keep it simple. This is the last part, I don't like playing new games, man. They're just complicated too much. Oh, fuck off, you cunt. Fuck off, fuck off.
モテたという。So I've got to open up this. How? I wouldn't be.
Do you see what I mean? Like, where is the fun in this? And then whenever I YouTube it, it's so fucking simple. Okay, I've got a YouTuber. Like a fucking thing, man. Oh, gosh, man. I can't even see the thing. A crying shame. Sunny D2, why Chris will be a nightmare for Mr. Beast. So, if you've been living under the rock, Chris has came out as a transformer. I can't use the word on YouTube because they'd be demonetizing if you say that word. So, and the internet is so freaking divided. It's crazy. Half people are, you know, congratulating him, like, go Chris, congratulations. And the other half of people... Like, they, they, they definitely want to kill him. It's El Chris. It's, uh, Chris ruined his family. It's, uh, uh, Mr. Beast is ruined. Like, bro, it's bad. This one hits home for me, chat, because it's like I grew up with the Mr. Beast crew. You know what I mean? I've been watching Mr. Beast since 2017, 2018. Yeah, 2018. And it's like I've seen these boys go from, like, just little leaky dink YouTubers to mega star so we're gonna see what sunny beats brand right. anyway, the chris bison situation could become a complete disaster for mr beast brand however it may also provide some unique benefit bro this situation almost got me canceled this boy this boy sneaky was like uh, if you if you see the sneaky clip you've seen the sneaky clip hey, yo, Chris and mr. Beast can punch, man. Uh, 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 such an asshole. chris is no chris bro i love chris christina you bigots. He learned he didn't even change his name yet. He 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 hasn't even had this one as a gender yet. Hey, how many gender right now? You niggas do not rubble shit with the politics. I'm just here for entertainment. Well, I always got canceled by this shit. <laughs> that's what this that's I don't, what I'm I don't need so let's begin by going over the drama before explaining exactly how this will impact the Mr. Beast channel. In mid-2022, fans began to notice that Chris Tyson was changing. In the early days, he represented the quintessential southern gun and truck loving dude. Yet beginning in March 2022, Chris began to display increasingly feminine traits, making tweets such as, I finally got my nails done at a nail tank. Additionally, Chris would highlight that his facial appearance had changed significantly since the start of the pandemic, which accompanied another post reading, okay, so in four different customs, I had to prove I was myself because I quote, look nothing like my passport pic, so much that I'm considering updating my passport. Do you see any resemblance? Prompting replies such as, hey, you went from man to boy. Chris responded by stating, nah, to be honest, I just really started taking my mental health seriously and eating better. Yeah, his Twitter photos kept insinuating that Chris was becoming more feminine with this same kind of look showing up in his Mr. Beast appearances. For example, on the 6th of January 2023, Beast Reacts uploaded a video titled I Strapped a GoPro to a Fish, in which Chris dressed in a way that prompted comments such as Chris has been adopting more and more traits that remind me of my grandmother. Okay, so some people just gonna ignore Chris's nails. Chris had to have lost a bet. The look is getting wild. The response to the video then prompted countless viral TikToks, such as this one with 700,000 likes, stating how did Chris go from this to this? Bro, oh, this is my entire for you page, bro. My entire for you. Like, the, the shit's actually getting annoying. You know what I mean? Because I like going on TikTok because, like, I like to learn shit. I like learning historical stuff. But it's just the same edits over and over and over again. It's so annoying. Look, he's getting what? 700,000 Carl had turned him gay. Oh, my gosh, Carl. Okay, bro. I'm not going to lie. Bro, y'all are memeing the fuck out of this. I've been seeing everybody talk about the Carl effect. The Carl effect. Carl. Me, personally, bro, I like Carl. I don't know about y'all, but I like Carl, man. Like, even when Carl first joined, a lot of people are hating on him. Like, bro, like, I promise you, if you were in a Discord call with Carl, I never talked to him in person, but if I was in a Discord call with him, I feel like that nigga probably be saying the most out-of-pocket shit. 
Like, you can see he's a memer. L, 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 Carl. Bro, you know what? You got, I like Carl. I don't care what you guys say. I like Carl. I've always liked Carl. Yeah, now, this was pretty ridiculous. As Carl isn't even that. And I'm not gonna lie, bro. Yo, y'all can say whatever y'all want. Carl be getting the hoes, bro. I be, I be stalking his Twitter. I be, bro, I be seeing the girls, they be hard eyeing, and I be going on their profiles, they be baddies. But they be like the weird baddies, if you know what I mean. You know those girls that are like weird, but like they're still bad, but like they don't know they're bad because they're kind of like ostracized, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I, I don't know if y'all call, but he could probably steal your bitch. Like, like straight up. Feminine. And Chris had come out as bisexual years before he and Carl had even bro, met. <laughs> bro, I be stalking, bro. I be, I be, I be stalking. I be stalking. True catalyst for Chris Tyson's feminization instead seemed to have come from his marriage. In January 2022, Chris would post a photo with his wife to his Instagram, yet after this, the family photo stopped altogether. Fans also noticed that he removed his wedding ring, with the ring's absence correlating perfectly with the very first post in which he painted his nails. Chris confirmed the split in a post from March 2023 reading, For a little over a year now, me and Katie have been separated, with this also confirming that Chris's transformation began as soon as his marriage came to an end. Chris went from lighting campfires and... So you know what, chat? You know, I know a lot of people are putting that... The, him transitioning as the reason, and that might be the reason. We don't know what the reason was for them splitting, but at the end of the day, bro, fucking what, like 70% of marriages end in divorce, you know what I mean? So, like, it happens to everybody. There's a highly likelihood, like, bro, both my parents got divorced, my brother was divorced, like, it happens to everybody. Everybody gets so divorced, it just happens. Raising that family with his beautiful wife, she now tried to be a wife with his man buds and long nails. Can you just... Bro, you don't know, man. He, he, could, he could be like mixed up. He could be more manly. No. No one. I just want to get the views from this video, so you know what? No, no more commentary from Janion because I do not want to end up on any more fucking blogs or I have nothing to say, man. <sighs> As the criticism continued to pile, Chris announced that he'd be taking a break from social media. And while there was a possibility that Chris would make efforts to return to his former self, he'd rather do the opposite and double down on his feminine image, showing up to the Kids' Choice Awards looking like this, before making the announcement that he'd been... No, okay, first thing first, I'm not gonna lie. Tyreek needs more love. Y'all niggas don't be showing Tyreek any love, man. This is, this is, this is a big shooter. You gotta show the shooter's love, man. I know how hard it is being a filmer, seeing Vito, and I can only imagine what being Mr. Beast's filmer is. Cause like, this nigga has to go to, uh, uh, where, where he has to go to Antarctica, he has to go to the most wildest places. So, y'all niggas talking about Chris and shit like that, make sure y'all at least show my boy Tyreek some love, man, cause he needs it. Going up to the Kids' Choice Awards looking like this before making the announcement that he'd been doing HRT for approximately two months, which according to a quick Google search is the medical process for changing genders. Chris would expand on this by stating, Informed consent HRT saved my and many others' lives. The hurdles GNC people have to jump through to get life-saving gender-affirming healthcare in a first world country is wild to me. Just let people make informed decisions about their own bodies, which received a positive response from both Carl and Mr. Beast, who wrote, got you, I did one more heart than Carl because I'm a better friend. While his co-workers expressed positivity, others weren't so welcoming. There goes a father figure the kid won't ever be able to look up to. Hard times create strong men, strong men create good times, good times create weak men, and weak men create hard times. Weak men times. Chris responded to this comment by stating, This is just more dog whistling that somehow trans and GNC folks aren't safe around kids. Tucker begs for me to come back when I let out this... Mm. This is the one thing on this whole situation that I'm gonna get my opinion on. You guys can say whatever you want about him and his wife, or you know, you guys don't agree with him trans transitioning. I, I don't care. But the one thing I think everyone's dead wrong and saying is that this man can't raise his son. You know what I mean? Like that. That is like from what I'm seeing, he's not doing anything. Like he's taking care of his son. He's doing everything. And so for you guys to disrespect his fatherhood. 
say that like, he's a bad farmer. Yeah, but it's I too that's soft, though. Hell. I think that's, like, the lamest shit ever, bro. And I think I was Sneeko from that. Because Sneeko was like, he left his uh, wife and kid. And I was like, my nigga, he only left his wife. Like, they got a divorce. He's not leaving his kid. So y'all niggas saying he left his kid. Like, y'all just make it live. Because he always posts his kid. He shows nothing but love for his kid. So I think that's the only, I think that's what everybody's wrong about. That's what I was put my foot down on. I don't care what anybody says. Like, y'all niggas disrespecting his parentship and stuff like that. I think that's just out of pocket. And y'all need to really just worry about yourselves. When it comes to how he raises his kids and stuff like that. Because you guys always talk about, you know, hey, we don't want people talking about how we raise our kids and stuff like that. He, from what I've seen, his kid's healthy, he's happy, that's all that matters. Thank you.
have two days to film. He is so loved and happy. If kids aren't born with hate, it's taught by people like you, and my child will only know love. I know I'm going to be a great parent, and so is every other person who puts the love of their child before everything. I made this decision because I wanted to show up as my best and happiest self for him. In a way, this was for Tucker. Chris's response received some positivity such as, I'm convinced you're an amazing father. Tucker is lucky to have you and also lucky to have all of those who surround and support you in his life, as well as I adore that I'm glad you made that decision. It's so much easier to be a parental figure when you're not struggling with dysphoria, yet he'd also receive an equal amount of backlash. You ripped apart your family and took a father figure away from your son just so you could paint your nails and act zesty, you pathetic. He will get torn apart at school, won't want to have friends around his house, a life full of difference and being alone. Must have missed the point in that tweet. How's this for him when you're depriving him of a father figure? Although Chris wasn't altered by these comments, as he'd once again reiterate his certainty in a new post reading, it's never too late to start being yourself, which received praise from Mr. Beast as well as Nolan and Carl. However, these comments also added received praise from oh, these fucking the whoever runs the YouTube Twitter account's a fucking goober, bro. This the YouTube fucking Twitter account tweeted out, uh Oh my gosh, bro. This was some of the most craziest shit I've ever seen in my life. What did they tweet out? Like, it was so corporate branding, bro. Like, it was like, really? And the crazy thing about YouTube is they literally demonetize you if you put gay. If, like, if uh, let's say a gay person is talking about something, like, maybe, like, how to come out to your parents is gay. If you put gay in the title, your video is demonetized. If you put transgender in the title, your video is demonetized. If you put uh, drag queen in your title, your videos demonetized and then YouTube tweets out how they like support gay people mm -hmm. but they'll demonetize you for that shit like like the fucking YouTube bro these niggas are so fucking two-faced bro like in the public they want to look like oh their Twitter at least in the on Twitter they want to look like oh we're good people blah, 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 blah. but then like ah. no they'll, they'll change that they'll, they'll change that's that. just lame Mr. Beast as well as Nolan so and Carl. Easy to However, these comments also added extra fuel to the fire. In a few years, look back at this thread and remember they were never your friends. Only yes men cowards. Hope you come out of this safe. Mr. Beast responded to this with a simple opinion irrelevant ratio, to which the original commenter would state, I have 30 followers, so go ahead and ratio me. I'll still rest <laughs> easy knowing that I'm not a coward. Who I <laughs> by watching my friend ruin his own life. In some ways, it was nice to see the boys yeah, still up with Chris on Twitter. However, the situation has already begun to change the dynamic within the videos. For example, in a recent live stream titled Opening a Thousand Mystery Art Boxes, Chris would once again dress in quite a feminine way. And while everybody participated as usual... Okay, I'm not gonna cap. I'm not gonna cap. That, that live stream was awkward as fuck. Like... Maybe maybe it was the clips I saw on TikTok. Like that shit was awkward. I can't even cap. I know I know a lot of you guys were like we might be split, but that shit was awkward as fuck. The vibe didn't feel like it was <laughs> as it does. It felt as though there was an unaddressed elephant in the room. <laughs> <laughs> No, 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 literally, no, 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 no. <laughs> As opposed to being in the present moment, enjoying each other's bro, company. Bro. Maybe everybody was simply too busy opening packages, but Chris did make these bizarre jokes about Jimmy being female, making him incredibly uncomfortable. Oh my god, Jimmy, look, they drew you. Jimmy, they drew you so well. It looks just like it. Damn. <laughs> You, hey, you know, you know, you know, you know. Alright. <laughs> oh, that's. <laughs> Discover unforgettable travel experiences oh, yeah. at <laughs> Chat, This is the same energy that this reminds me of, chat. Uh, but this was gigantic. This is the first time they. <laughs> oh, yeah, I remember. Uh, a drag queen! A drag queen! Oh, no. A drag queen! A drag this is it. This is the same energy. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, yes. oh my god, it's Jimmy! Becoming even weirder when each member started to pay each other compliments. Hey, nice shirt. Thanks, dude, nice shirt. Hey, nice shirt. Thanks, dude, nice shirt. Thanks. Nice shirt. Nice. Shoot. For the most part, the live stream was devoid of. Okay, but chat, like, we're gonna be honest. Jimmy. Oh, no. I don't know. Because I've never really seen Jimmy be awkward, really. This is like the first one I've ever seen him actually like awkward. The only time I see him awkward is like when he's giving people money and like they're like overreacting. He's like, mm. like that's the only time I ever see him awkward. But bro, I'm not going to even cap in there. Even though he's being a supportive friend and stuff like that, this is an awkward situation. Like, that, that is just no beating around the bush. It's a very awkward situation because like, it's like, you know, you want to be a great friend and you want to defend your friend and stuff like that. But then you have like a shit ton of people shitting on you. So it's like, imagine being in Mr. Beast's shoes. Like, you don't want to cause any drama. You know, you just want people to have a good time, enjoy the videos and stuff like that. And then you have people on the internet hating you just, of, just because of something that your longtime best friend is doing, you know? So, I feel for Jimmy. Like, I really feel for him. And, you know, I feel for him, bro. Because I was thinking, I was thinking, like, damn, if that was me in Jimmy's situation, like, mm -hmm. I would have to take a break. I, I think I would just, like, take a break and just, you know, go on vacation. But, like, Mr. Beast, he loves his YouTube shit, so he's not going to take a break. He's just going to keep working through it. So, yeah. Awkward moments. However, it would act as fodder for another hundred million. Damn, bro, this this, this is the shit I'm talking about, bro. Oh, 28 million views on TikTok. 20 million, 50. Oh my gosh, bro. Damn, there. Everybody in the world knows about this situation. This was all over my for you page. The views worth of drama and criticism. Chris likely believes that people will slowly adapt to his new. People in the chat are saying Chris set the hard R. Bro, I'm not gonna lie, chat. I am the last nigga to snitch on for someone saying the n-word. I literally have videos of people giving the n-word pass. So I don't I don't I don't care. I don't care if people say the n-word. Like I genuinely don't. I'll make fun of you for saying it. Like I'll like make jokes about it. But like I genuinely don't care. I'm not gonna cancel somebody for saying the n-word. And y'all niggas out of doing that, y'all are disingenuous as fuck. Because y'all niggas don't care if white people say the n-word. So it's like y'all just being disingenuous because y'all don't like Chris. Like let's be real. Well, let, let, let's let's just keep it a buck. Y'all didn't have a problem that Chris set the hard R fucking 10 years ago, but now that he's transitioning, now you guys are mad about it. Like, bro, let's, 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 let's keep it a buck, chat, okay? Let's keep it a buck. Your appearance over time, but is this really going to happen? Well, maybe. It's difficult to say as the situation is fairly unique, especially when considering Chris's reputation and influence. However, if Chris continues to transition, would it be unreasonable to say that he could jeopardize some of the personality traits which made him a successful member in the first place? Perhaps the opposite will happen, and he'll instead pick up new personality traits that better resonate with the current Mr. Beast audience. Yeah. This was put forward in sure. many comment support of Chris, who implied that there'll be millions of queer kids who look up to him, although this doesn't necessarily mean that it'll add any value to the videos. Mr. Beast has likely cultivated a massive LGBT audience, all of whom are already watching anyway, and if we've learned anything from Hollywood in recent years, it's that adding over-the-top LGBT characters for the sake of relatability rarely works as intended, and is often nothing more than a distraction from the premise of the movie or video. On top of this, it can be- Okay, but that, that, this is a whole- totally different like situation nah, i get it's the movies same shit. added in like gay characters just to add them in but like this is somebody that was already on the team coming out you feel me so i i, I think that's the totally like don't wouldn't you guys agree oh shit damn we got a fucking 300 bomb benjamin hey bro i'm a chef i want to cook for you where you where you work at where you work at benjamin let me know but like you guys know what i mean i feel like that's a totally different situation because this is Chris basically, like, this is him doing it in his personal life, but now it's obviously going to show up in the video. This isn't like some executive being like, oh, and this isn't like the, the Buzz Lightyear movie mm -hmm. where they're like, yo, we need a lesbian couple in the movie to show inclusion. Like, I, I think that's two different things. What do y'all think? See people say the same thing. I mean, I, me personally, I don't see it. 
Yeah, yeah, the same. Yeah, it's, the same thing. So. Yeah, I'm, I'm it's not the same job. Yeah. Although, as we have seen, a situation like Chris's does have the potential to create an otherworldly amount of discussion, which could be seen as a benefit for the Mr. Beast brand. The problem is this type of situation is probably the last thing that Mr. Beast wants to attract as he's forced to agree with Chris's position as he has no way of manipulating the situation without being painted as the bad guy. It's a lose-lose situation for Mr. Beast. I think Jimmy is in an inescapable situation. If he kicks out Chris, cancel. If he don't, his channel will die for real. Bro, I mean, no, literally, bro, chat, I don't think y'all niggas realize, bro, this is probably, like, one of the toughest positions, this is probably one of the toughest things Jimmy has to go yeah. through in his career, you know? Facts. Like, but for him, I don't think it's going to be a tough decision for him, because obviously he's going to side with his friend, and I feel like that's what he should do. Like, I mean, personally, I don't think he'd be a worse person. Like, bro, like, think about it like this, bro. Yeah, A lot yeah, of you guys are saying that he needs to fire Chris and stuff, bro, if he fired Chris... That's a horrible friend. Like, like, and that, that's the, that's a horrible friend, man. If Chris isn't doing nothing to harm nobody, Chris don't have no allegations against him. Chris, Chris hasn't done nothing illegal. Like, what's the reason to fire him? You know, if he fires him, that's him just trying to appease y'all. But I'm not gonna lie though, this is a tough situation, bro. Cause like, I know probably the parents now aren't gonna let their kids watch Mr. Beast, and I completely understand that. And I'm not gonna disagree with those parents at all. And then. It, damn man, I wonder. I wonder what Mr. Beast's PR team is looking like right now. They're probably working overtime. I would love to see his PR team. Yo, know, an inescapable situation is a pretty good way of describing the drama, which is also why it deserves the harsh label of being a nightmare. Jimmy has no option but to publicly express acceptance of Chris's transition, as silence or even worse disapproval would come with obvious severe repercussions. However, in accepting Chris's transition, Jimmy implies that this will be the new normal within the content, thus annoying a different group of people, many of whom will never express their true feelings, and they rather simply click on pure Mr. Beast videos. If this is the case, Jimmy has no option but to accept this fate, as removing Chris from the videos in any kind of way could create an even more severe media firestorm. The only clean solution, should things go south, might be for Chris to resign himself, and even then rumours and bad press will be unavoidable. Whether it be arrogance or ignorance, Chris seems oblivious to how this whole thing might impact Jimmy, forgetting that he achieved his current level of success by avoiding this exact time of drama i don't i don't agree with sunny v2 on this last point for the yeah. reason being is like this drama is his life you know what i mean yeah, that's right. and at the end of the day his life isn't affecting you or me but we all know that people are going to talk about it so it's like sunny v2 is basically saying he should just basically shut up and dribble i don't know the, the, this is such a tough situation this is such a tough situation. Because, bro, I, it's not a secret. Like, you know, I believe in God. So, like, me personally, you know, if my if one of my friends came out to me and was like, yo, I want to um, transition. Uh, and, like, if you believe in God, I'll be like, yo, man, like, uh, I think you need to read your Bible. I think you need to pray to God, you know. But it's like, me personally, I don't think I would. I don't me personally. If one of my friends transitioned. Like, if one of my friends came out as gay, I would tell them to read their Bible and stuff, but I don't think I'll, I would. Damn, this is tough. <laughs> yeah, you would. And again, you know what? It's, it's a tough situation, but the Bible makes it simple. That's crazy, man. Fox has settled its defamation. Forgot about that guy, man.
strong shame. Everyone, meet my boyfriend, Jake. Whoa, that's weird by the advert. Everyone, meet my boyfriend, Jake. Now, I've never really been a ladies' man, to say the least. In primary school, me and all my mates had a personal hatred towards all the girls in our year, and we never spoke to them. Well, my time in secondary school, and, well, I went to an all boys' school, so I physically couldn't speak to girls. College was one of the all boys, and after I left college, I just focused on the gym, and girls were kind of off the table for me. You see, I'm not lying when I say, apart from my mum, girls have never really been in my life.
Thank fuck, man. Oh my gosh. So simple. That was so simple. Reading still going. <sighs> Man, they love their puzzles, huh? <laughs> One, two, three, four. Right, what the fuck? One, two, three, four, five. Six. YouTube for this game, man, I swear. And patience. <laughs> Seriously. It's the last one, so that's good. 